What's up everybody, Arctoplatypus back here with another video, bringing you Killing Floor 2 game review, gonna try to make this pretty quick. So right off the bat, I'm gonna say, I love this game. So, you know, I'm already saying you should get this game, but, of course, there needs to be more depth in a game review. So, what's the game about? It's, um, a wave-based co-op survival game. Basically, the backstory behind the game is that there's these mutants made by a company called Horzine, and you gotta freaking kill them, basically. So there's perks in the game. It's all about picking your perk and leveling up that perk. Um, and each perk kind of has its own role in the squad. So since it's a co-op game, I mean, each perk kind of does well at different things, at killing different kinds of creatures. There's like a medic. If you're the medic, you wanna heal your teammates. I mean, each perk has its own role in the game and you can see in this gameplay in the background, I'm playing as a support. And that's kind of killing multiple um, small Zeds at once. And they're called Zeds, by the way, the creatures that you kill. And then support's also good at taking down the big Zeds. But you can see I'm using like the double rail shotgun and the AA-12 and whatnot. Pretty good stuff. Anyway, so this game, you basically spawn in and you just kill as many Zeds as you can while working in your team. And you gotta be efficient with it. You can't just like go off on your own. You gotta work as a team. So if you're not about like a co-op game, if you're not about that, if you don't like that, then this game's probably not for you. But if you really like a good co-op experience, especially if you have friends to play with, that's gonna be fun. I don't have any friends to play with this with in this game. So um, I probably don't even get the best experience that I could, but it's still so much fun just going into a public game. I, that probably limits me to playing on, like, the highest difficulty. Like, I could probably play on is Suicidal, and that's what I'm playing on in this gameplay. And we actually did lose, but, I mean, I've won a few game, quite a few games on Suicidal difficulty, which is the second hardest. The hardest one is Hell on Earth. Um, and I've never even tried that, because I don't have, like, a group of friends to play with. But if I did, I could probably do it pretty well. I mean, this game is really fun. It's all about, like, it's not even just about leveling up. It's about getting those headshots. A lot of this game is about getting headshots, but it depends on the class you're playing. If, like, if you're playing support, the headshots don't really matter all that much unless you're killing those big motherfuckers and the headshots are actually really good on those guys. Anyway, I don't know. I find that headshots are pretty important in this game and learning the center of your screen is pretty good, too. And, um, I don't use a crosshair, but you can use a crosshair if you want, I guess. But I played the original Killing Floor, which is also a fun game, by the way. You should pick that up for a low price if you want, actually. I mean, or you could just get Killing Floor too. but I don't know. You gotta, like, learn where the center of your screen is and just blast away at the head if you want to. It's pretty fun. Um, I don't know, this game is just really awesome like the, they've spent so much time perfecting every element of the game despite how simple the whole concept is like i mean the concept is you're just killing people or not people you're killing these zeds until you either die or defeat the boss at the very end and there's different length matches you can do short medium and long it's all uh, different numbers of waves there's different difficulties there's actually different game modes there's like pvp where you can play as the Zeds. I never do that, but I, I think it might be a bit of fun. I should probably try it out. But, I mean, there's a lot of different options in the game, and it's still only in early access. They're doing a lot of updates. They're pretty close to having it become a final game, and then after they release it as a full game, um, they're going to keep putting more weapons and whatnot into it, and it's going to become totally full of content eventually. I mean, it's after a while you could do kind of get bored of the same four weapons per perk but it's dude you can play so many hours in this game it's awesome and they've perfected like the gore in this game it's it's freaking beautiful you like it's kind of it's kind of gross like you have 22 points of dismemberment on every single creature like each creature can blow up into 22 different body parts it's it's pretty messed up and there's like, they worked with NVIDIA to do another gore system where it's like, um, if you blow them up, there's like guts and stuff that fly around it's, and like fluids. It's pretty disgusting. 
but it's it's also really cool and they have like permanent blood it stays on the map forever and i mean until of course you beat it or die it's not like it stays there when you join a new server but it stays there throughout the match and that's really cool and they like spent a lot of time trying to get that to work and it, it definitely paid off it's awesome and like the guns are animated at like 200 something frames per second that's mainly for their Z time system, which if you didn't know is like a slow-mo you'll see in the gameplay. Every once in a while the game goes into slow-mo, it gives you time to like aim and it's really cool. And they spent so much time just perfecting all these simple elements of the game and getting it to just be such a fun experience. I love that. Um people are giving this game a lot of hate for like having microtransactions, but there's I, there's no problem with that. It's like it's just cosmetic microtransactions. There's no benefit. It's not gonna like benefit your uh, like how you play at all. Like unless for some reason you have like some subconscious relationship with your game and like you need cosmetics to play well. But literally, the microtransactions are just cosmetic. It's nothing that's gonna benefit your uh, performance like playing or anything like that. It's not like what Payday 2 did. It's completely cosmetic, and if you like cosmetics, you can totally just buy the skins. If you don't like cosmetics, you don't have to buy the skins. You don't have to open any crates or whatever. You can do really whatever you want. It's like, it really doesn't matter. And they're also giving it hate for like, I don't even know. People are just hating on this game for no real reason, and it, if you want a fun co-op survival wave-based game, if you want a game like the one you're seeing in the background, I would highly recommend this game. It's freaking awesome. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe this helped you decide whether or not you want to pick up this game. I would seriously recommend it. It is awesome. But anyway... Thanks for watching. If you're new, please subscribe, like the video if you want, dislike if you want, comment if you want, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.